I'm enjoying this. Donald Trump owes a $450 million fine, which is probably closer to $500 million because he owes interest on it already. It ticks up every day. He's getting good rates on interest, just going the wrong direction. Yeah, right. And uh, here is Frank Luntz, the ethically and follically challenged Frank Luntz, who, reminder, was censured by... Uh, if you didn't know that there was a pollster association, well, they censured him uh, years ago for his um, Newt Gingrich um, uh, contract with America malfeasance. And uh, here he is um, pretending that somehow, and this is, a, this is illustrative because this is what the Democrats worry about. If... Donald Trump is actually held to account that there'll be some type of blowback. This is one of the stupidest takes I've ever seen. But here he is, uh, uh, so-called pollster Frank Luntz. All right, Frank, the politics of this. Folks in the Biden campaign are already starting to refer to Donald Trump as broke Don, which is interesting. And then there is the possibility that the New York Attorney General, Letitia James, would have to start or would start seizing assets, maybe even buildings. How do you think that would play? I want you to remember this moment, and don't forget it, that the New York Attorney General starts to take his homes away, starts to seize his assets. Pause it for one second. I just want to be clear. They are seizing right now. She has filed in Westchester County to take one of his uh, golf courses away, and then like a uh, undeveloped, I guess, uh, another project that he's done, and they're going to start with that. So I want you to remember this moment. This is the moment that Frank Luntz uh, just completely lied and this made up a complete uh, uh, delusion that the American public is going to be outraged at this uh, wealthy guy's golf club, private golf club, uh, getting uh, seized. It's funny. I was wondering if it was the golf club that I've driven past occasionally, and no, it's a different one. So oh. he's got golf clubs to oh, seize. So oh, they're all over the place. It's not the one by the bridge. No. 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 Hmm. Go ahead. Starts to take his homes away. Starts to seize his assets. It's all going to be on camera. Pundits are going to sit there and scream about this. This man cannot be elected. You're going to create the greatest victimhood of 2024, <laughs> and you're going to elect Donald Trump. If they take his stuff, he's going to say that this is proof that the federal government and the establishment and the swamp in Washington and all the politicians across the country and the attorneys generals and all of this, that this is a conspiracy to deny him the presidency. He's going to go up in the polls just like he went up every single time they indicted him. The indictment, um, let's not talk about whether it's justified or not, but it will prove the things that he's saying on the campaign trail, and he will go up, and it may just elect him president. Do not forget that. And I say this to the attorney general right now. If you play politics on this, this is what the secretaries of state did in Colorado and what they did in, I believe, it was Maine. His numbers went up in both states. I don't understand. I'm almost speechless in how pathetic the opposition to Trump has been and how completely misguided. And this is a perfect example of it. OK, here's the, here, here's the, the difference. <laughs> she is an attorney general and she uh, she brought this in front of a, uh, a court. Now, here's the thing. You're arguing that Donald Trump is a lawbreaker. That's the argument. How do you uh, how do you prove that notion to the average voter? Do you do it by having there be no consequences for any of his actions? That doesn't make sense. If you've broken the law, we register. Again, this is like the 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 theory that I've always had about like uh, reaction shots. In, in, in movies, how do you, you need to communicate to the audience some cue as to how they should react to a certain action that you have shown. And the cue for the audience to react is to show the person being punished. That is why perpetrators cover their heads when they are on a perp walk. That is why people don't want to generally, you know, release the footage of them going to prison. And the idea that, that I mean, Luntz has, 
it is true within the Republican Party, he went on to uh, raise his poll numbers against Ron DeSantis. But there's no evidence it raises his poll uh, standings against uh, against. Why would against it be that? In a general, why would it be appropriate for uh, the district attorney to even calculate that? The attorney general attorney should general, not yeah. be considering politics. They shouldn't be saying, "Oh, the polls in these other states went up, so I guess I need to not." Of trust. course, like, that's of course. Well, of it's course. political because you know. You know, you that know. would make it political if they have an eye on the polls. Hundred you, percent. You know what? You know, Tish. You know where her allegiance lies. If you know what I mean, Tish James. Um, I didn't know that was a toupee of his. That's that's. Oh my uh, god! That's, <laughs> Are you kidding? No, I mean, I guess I just never considered someone who had that much money wouldn't have just like sprung for a transplant or something. But anyway, um, it's uh, it'll be a very very satisfying if his properties begin to get seized. And in the idea, the bald that eagle people will are going to feel though. bad. <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah, he no longer controls the thing. We should say that today, his completely fraudulent valuation for the going public of Truth Social and Trump Media at something like $3 billion, the operation has revenue of $1 million. Where did they get that, evalu that valuation? Well, this is the thing Out of their about ass. <laughs> you can make up your valuation. You, that's what they do all the time. There's some standards that, that people uh, will base it off of, and it's just an argument. Um, Kevin O'Leary would say that uh, calling that into question would be hampering, you know, business because no one's doing anything wrong. It's a victimless crime when you evaluate your worthless company at whatever. But the um, the point about, you know, uh, you're going to be reading that uh, Trump has something like three billion dollars worth of, uh, of stock value in the uh truth social the problem is, is that no one believes that the stock is worth that yeah people want to buy it people definitely want to buy this value <laughs> well, I, my this value. well the problem <laughs> that he's going to have is he's going to say to a bank i'll put up two and a half billion dollars worth of this stock for you to loan me 450 or whatever 500 million and the bank's going to go ah oh, dude <laughs> Your stock's not worth that. Yeah, but, yeah. Like, right. I would say your stock is worth probably like $30 million, maybe. And that's really just more like your gold sneakers. Is that? Like, uh, yeah, or his gold toilet, which when it gets seized, no, it will be the point, worst day in America. Is like, yeah. it, it might be fun to own the stock in the same way it's like, Oh, I uh, I got uh, I, I have got a, a Trump NFT. I got a Coke. I got I got one of those Coca Cola cans yeah. from when they rolled out new Coke. You know, it's just like a collector's item. But hey, worth no bank is gonna say okay, we'll take this. I mean, the it, it would be. Is he trying to dupe people into actually like investing before they you know go public with true social? I, I I think the idea is that the, he wants to use the stock as as collateral for this loan it's not going to work and here is donald trump's attorney uh what's her first name Habba? alina haba alina haba who went to my high school um 10 years ahead of me but yeah and rough for kent place school for girls here is the question uh as to like where uh, where trump is going to be getting this money and he won't, folks. He really won't. Uh, we're, I think we're going to see seizures start uh, next week, but we'll see. Um, is, is there any effort on the part of your team to secure this money through another country, Saudi Arabia or Russia, as Joy Behar seems to think? Well, there's rules and regulations that are public. I can't speak about strategy that require certain things, and we have to follow those rules. Like I said, this is manifest injustice. It is impossible. It's an impossibility. I believe they knew that. I think that's why mid-trial, frankly, they changed their ask from $250 million mm -hmm. to the ridiculous amount of money that they've asked for. I think everything is done intentionally. I do not doubt that the witch hunt, that the election interference goal is what was uh, ringing steady and loud loudly and true throughout all these trials, frankly, and we're seeing it. It's the demise of our country, not the demise of Trump. So we'll, we'll handle it as we always have and, and keep our heads up and keep right. working hard. Um, is, is there there you go. The idea, and I see some even leftists say like the, the, the Democrats are going the wrong way about this again, like it's in a completely, completely inappropriate for um, uh, people to look at polls like that. Um, but this is what happens when a criminal 
runs for high office and makes a bunch of enemies. Like this is b- really not surprising. If you know anything about Trump before he was in politics, like it's a liability. Yeah, once you it becomes more of a liability once you uh, take political power. That's why a lot of really rich, powerful people don't get involved in politics. I mean, remember when Nancy Pelosi was making that argument about Bush with Iraq, right? Which is essentially like we can't hold him accountable, right? Because they were afraid. If I'm not mistaken, weren't they afraid of the political blowback? Well, I think they were afraid of uh, of the idea of of impeachment would in some way empower him. I mean, the it's, but that's uh, insane. That's an insane way to think about. Them. Things. And it's this just, is, I mean, the, the, these are people who uh, grew up and their mentors all basically said, like, it really hurt with Nixon. Nixon, you know, the Republicans came roaring back. It helped Clinton. <laughs> the Well, that's the point. Getting impeached helped Clinton. And that's well, what oh, they're well, afraid of. Oh, oh, right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. they're afraid of. I guess that's of. true. Um, but that's because it was bullshit. Well, I think the it's American public, whether it helps or not for like these this legal sort true. of consideration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of irrelevant. course, of course. You have to hold people to account. You have to do it. And and certainly you have to do it if you're saying that they broke the law. (laughs) It's obvious to everybody that they break the law. Yeah. All right. Don't fly too close to the sun. It's a little thing called Icarus. Okay, Trump? 